I, I, I normally look forward to share God's word. Um, hii ndio nilifanya niwache matatu biashara ya matatu kwa sababu matatu ina pesa lakini matatu inaweza kukupeleka Bungoma Jumapili kwa sababu ulipata order ya kupeleka watu kule ama umewapeleka nyanyuki so but this is one of the best thing that I I love doing because I love God I serve him because I love him blessed be the name of the Lord And I want to speak today I don't want to preach again I want to speak to myself and as I speak to myself open your ears because I could be speaking also to you but I want to speak to myself um, because when I speak to myself mimi ubarikiwa lakini nina kuongelesha alafu ninajiongelesha one of the things that I discovered today niko na upara umeanza kuchongoka Asante kwa yule alinipiga picha kumbe niko na upara i say kako kako mahali hapo round hapo nyuma nimekaona tu kameanza kukosa nywele area fulani hapo hapo nyuma um, what that means is that i might not see myself but someone can see me isn't it and so we help each other so you see me and i see you you help me and I help you. I know some of you have gone to places where there are some small to monkeys. They come on the road. You might meet them when they're in the business ya kutoa na chawa. I don't know whether you have met them. Wako wawili pale na wanatoa na chawa kwa sababu wako na mikono kama yako wanatoa na chawa. Unaona aka kanatoa huyu chawa, kanatolewa hivi hivi, kanatolewa hivi. Hivyo hivyo hivyo. Tunasaidiana tule to monkey. Eh, na watu wa Mungu lazima nao wasaidiane, si ndio? Kwa sababu tunaweza kuwa na chawa za sampuli nyingi, lakini tusaidiane kutoana uto. Na nikija nilifikiria shida kubwa ya mtu ambaye hatai kutolewa chawa ni kwa sababu anafikiria ga anajua. And um, when I was in high school I discovered and they sang a song actually from the same hilo discussion tulikuwa nayo. Kitambo. Wakaimba wimbo kutoka Mount Kenya kwamba kuna mtu hajui na hajui hajui na kama hajui na hajui hiyo kitu ni dangerous you know because there are people who don't know they don't know what they don't know those are dangerous people because even in their argument it's like they think they do know but they don't and then you can only sympathize with them because whatever it is going to take them it's in bad places or push them in places where they will regret the rest of their lives yesterday i was speaking to someone and um, he, he he told me one day um, his wife coming from this country going to johnson city which is in tennessee entered the wrong connection when he entered in the us he entered the wrong connection and he found himself in Tapa, Florida, very close to where uh, Francis is. Now, when he landed there, first of all, when you are landing in Florida, because there is, the ocean is there, there the sea is around, you, and you, where you are going, you are going in Tennessee and there is no sea, the first reaction is, nimepotea. Uko juu, nimepotea. So when when the, the, the she lands she the first reaction is where is this huku ni wapi and then she was told no this is uh, florida and you are in tampa so she told the airline crew but i was not coming here i was going to johnson city the airline was their mistake jaribu we kwenda airport he jomo kenyata Ati unataka kwenda Dar es Salaam na umepanga raindi ya kwenda South Africa. Uko na tikiti imeandikwa Dar es Salaam. Hawata kukubali kuingia. Hiyo ni namba moja. Namba mbili, unaweza ku... But the coincidence was awesome. The crew did not see it was Johnson City. They saw Tapa themselves. So they allowed her in. The second coincidence, the seat that she was going to sit was empty. 
So she sat and nobody bothered her. Because if you enter into a plane and the seat has been taken, the owner of the seat will come and ask you, Makaria Kitiangu Amuka. But this time, nobody. So she sat so comfortably, she closed her eyes. The next thing, she's in Tapa. Whose, whose mistake was that? Wee ukiulizo makosa ilikuwa nani? Unafikira ilikuwa nani? Makosa ilikuwa ya watu ya airline. You can sue them. Najua hapa kwetu. Ukijikuta umeingia gari naenda kangundo. We ni kutoka na kutafuta ya kurudi. America unasu mtu. So the first reaction was they had to apologize and make sure she is comfortable and get another flight and apologize ile kali kali because of the hours wasted. Mpaka wanaona ni kama watapere kwa kotini. I don't know why I start this way, but maybe I'm speaking to myself and I'm speaking to someone. Siku moja, mimi na mke wangu, tume, tumeambiwa na airline kwamba ndege yetu imearibika. Lakini wamesema, tunaweza toka city tulikuwa, tuende city ingine kubwa for our other connection, tutapata hotel ya kuka. When we got there, they told us there are no hotels. Huja ona bishop wenu? Huja ona? Wewe? <laughs> Siku wana fujo, lakini nilikuwa na hakizangu, najua hakizangu. Wewe ni kaongea na mtu ambaye alikuwa na ma-attitude. You know you can meet somebody with attitude, first of all, because I'm black. So she looks at me and she tells me nothing we can do. And she said, you can sit on the seat for 24 hours so that the other flight, 24 hours, quiet, 24 hours. So I ask her, thank you, ma'am. You know you call her ma'am, everybody is a ma'am, whether she's young or small girl. Thank you. Can I talk to your supervisor? She said, even the supervisor will tell you the same. I said, I'm not talking to you now. Can I talk to your supervisor? Akakuja. Supervisor, akanipatia $200. Yangu mia, na Alice mia. Lakini, tukalie kiti 24 hours. Kwanza nikapokea. <laughs> Alavu nikamuambia, can I speak to your supervisor, please? She said, no, the supervisor will say the same. I said, I'm not talking to you from this point. Yours is finished. Yours was $100. Thank you. Can I speak to your supervisor? Supervisor Alipo Land, ni kama sasa alikuwa mejua from her, ni taongea na airline yenyewe, kampune. Na sikuwa na fujo. You know what mimi sikuwa gina fujo? Lakini nikijua haki yangu usicheze na mimi. So when this one came, I told her two things that I'm going to do. One is to make sure the next newspaper tomorrow morning carries this behavior. From Memphis, you promise. I'm in Detroit now. You want me to sit and sleep on a chair. I'm going to sue you really hard. She looked at me and said, wait a minute, wait a minute. You said you are who? I said, I'm Bishop. Bishop? I didn't know you were a bishop. I said, bishop. And, and there were many other whites who were going to Kenya. They were coming to Kenya for mission work and they had children. And I said, I'm not alone. I have seen some other guys here who are going to Kenya also. I am now their representative. All of these guys. <laughs> Do you know what it will a gari? What it will a hotel? What it will kwa hotel? Tukaenda tukarara kwa hotel? The following morning, kuna mama aliona Nikiharasiwa, lakini alishindwa kwani, why, why I was so quiet? She came back and said in the morning, I saw you here yesterday, I said yes. There is something I want to tell you. I liked your spirit. You're not, you're not jumping up and shouting. No, I told her, I don't shout. If it is mine, nobody can take it when it is mine. So she, there, is, there is also something else for you. Lunch is supposed to be given for you. I said, now show me where I should go for it. <laughs> so I went to this other manager. I said, you know what, manager? I want lunch. 
and I was given lunch. I'm saying that so that I can read a scripture here. And please hear the scripture and hear it well. It is in the book of Isaiah 43. I'm reading verse 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Thus says the Lord who makes ways in the sea and a path through the mighty waters, who brings forth the chariot and horse, the army and the power. They shall lay down together, they shall not rise. They are extinguished, they are quenched like weak. Do not remember the former things, nor consider the things of old. Behold, I'll do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall you not know it? I will even make a road in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. The beast of the field will honor me, the jackals and the ostriches, because I give waters in the wilderness and rivers in the desert to drink to my people, my chosen. I sang that song, My God Knows the Way Through the Wilderness, because it is a fact. The Lord, my God, knows the way through the wilderness. Your wilderness, he knows how to navigate it for you. He does, he knows. He is there and he is ready to navigate it for you. But then you have to allow him. You know, when I read this scripture, when I was preparing to come here, I saw that it is not only in the New Testament, in the book of Hebrews, that God wants us to have faith. It is not also in the book of Ephesians that Paul is trying to encourage us. But even in the Old Testament, it is critical for us to know that God, there is something that he wants to do. And he wants to do it while we connect with him. Blessed be the name of the Lord. To that woman whose heart is broken because her husband has cheated her, and cannot get past that experience. And has vowed never to love again. The Lord is saying. I have something that I want to do. Which is new. I hope you are hearing what I am saying. To the two brothers that have not spoken to each other in years. Because in business they built together. They failed to come to some agreement. When the prophets were, were made. And the older brother maybe took over. And the young man has not visited or spoken to his mother and his brother and father for many years. And maybe you could be here because somebody cheated you. What I have for you is that when I read the scripture where I read, that God wants to do a new thing. Blessed be the name of the Lord. To that young man who has never visited their mother or father for many years because as a child there was a child abuse. And he cannot bring himself together to forget the past, forgive his parents and move on in his life. I have a word for him also. The Lord is trying to say, I want to do a new thing. Blessed be the name of the Lord. To a person that has gone to class and the teacher did not like him. And because the teacher didn't like you, you also didn't like school. And you have lost a lot of years. I have a word for you. The Lord wants to do a new thing for you. The prophet Isaiah urges the people to forget the former things and to behold the new ways that God is changing and renewing their lives for a greater good. But in order for them to see the new things that God is doing, they must open their eyes. Tell your neighbor, neighbor, you have to open your eyes. You have to open your eyes. Ooh, I love that. You know, I, I, I have heard that many times. You know, it is one of the, 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 the words that when Bishop is preparing to preach and is speaking, it's one of those things that he will say before he has even gotten to the message that he wants to speak. That if God can help us to open our eyes, to open our eyes. Ephesians, let me look at Ephesians. This is Paul and he's, um, he's encouraging himself. He says this in Ephesians chapter 1 verse 17. Verse 16 he says, I don't cease to give thanks for you. But verse 17 he says, that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory may give to you the spirit of wisdom 
and revelation in the knowledge of him. That the eyes of your understanding being enlightened, that you may know what is the hope of his calling, what are the riches of his glory, the inheritance of the saints. Now, when your eyes are open, then you can know that God that you have believed in, that God that you have trusted, and what he can do when your eyes are opened up. I will tell your neighbor, neighbor, open your eyes. You see, when I read Ephesians also, and this again we quote, and uh, some of us we do it as we, we are finishing as benedic benediction, Ephesians 3 and 20, now to him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all we ask or think, but it finishes by saying according to the power that works where? In us. So if there is going to be any power, I have to open up and know I carry the power. Look at your neighbor, tell them, well, make a to a corner power. You know, I have the engine power. I'm being driven by God. The power that works within me, I will not go to church to get it. It is not a bishop who carries it. It is me who carries it. So I get you back to the book of Isaiah because that's where we are. If you look at the interpretation of that verse, and sometimes it's, you know, by the way, when I went to Park as a student in the 80s, and we did some Greek, and I, I used to come back and, <laughs> and I would speak Greek to Akina Karogano. Karogano is one of the members of your second service, who is a faithful member, has been in this church since the day one. Eh? So I would come and uh, speak Greek to them. Now, Brother Mugo, who spoke to you, was a member there. So one day, he, because we have been friends, we got to know each other when we were young people in the streets of Nairobi and so on. We knew each other when we were courting, wherever we were courting. So we knew each other when finally we, you know, we knew each other. So finally we landed here. He came and said, uh, Pastor, can I tell you the truth? Since you went to the Bible college, you are sharp. But it all goes above our head. We don't get it. Unapita na griki yako huko ju. Tunakuacha upita na kizungu yako mingi. So he told me, Pastor, preach to us. Wewe tuambie. Wacha hiyo griki yako huko. Hiyo ni yako. Ukisoma, soma griki yako. Lakini ukija, sungumza na sisi. And that's why you have discovered, as I preach nowadays, I preach and speak to you. Not, I don't want it to go beyond you. I want you to hear it. So when I go back to the book of Isaiah, there is a statement, and that statement is in all translations. I, I know some of us don't see it. Because sometimes we read, and we want to hear what we want to hear. Did you know that? Even as I preach, there are some of you, you are saying, you see, Yangu, you see, Yangu, here, Baba, Atahi, Una Justify, Atahi, Adio. You know, you do all that. We, we normally do that. So you can read a scripture, and it doesn't make sense to you there, and you don't pick what it's saying. I want to go back to the verse that I read in the book of Isaiah 43. Listen to what uh, the Bible is trying to say. Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall you not know it? I will even make a road in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. A lot of translations of that scripture, many, I looked at so many, my Bible has so many of those in my computer, computer, okay, and a lot of, a lot of them were saying, it is present, it is a present tense. Eh, what is was if you what that verse says in the present tense is that you will know it. Why are you not knowing? You will perceive it. Why are you not seeing it? That's the question he's asking. Why are you not seeing it? Not in the future, but right where you are. Now, I, I, I know you, you might be asking, Bishop, Bishop, what are you saying? This is God speaking to the children of Israel. They are in bondage. And he's trying to tell them, I want to do something new. Remember they are in bondage. They are slaves. They are doing things. They are forced to do things. 
their land has been taken, their, they, they, the crops that they had were taken, and they are now captives. And God comes in the middle of their captivity and he says, you know what? I'm going to do a new thing. Can, I, can you not see it? Not in the future. Can you not see it now? Actually, he finishes by saying, I even don't understand about you people. The animals, every time I do a new thing, the jackals, the beast, the ostriches, they all rise up and honor me. Why can't you honor me? Hiya. So Isaiah, he's trying to tell the children of Israel, God is trying to tell them, I want to deliver you out of Babylon, but you need to conduct yourself well. I want to take you back to a better land that I had taken you from. And I want to allow you to see that as I take you there, I'm going to make way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. You know, because where I am, I'm in the wilderness. But as God takes me back to the promises that he had for me, he's going to make sure my journey to the promised land, the wilderness, he's going to make a way. One time, and I'm sorry, Joy, because I'm the one who messed you. I messed there. They would have had a lot of fun. But I missed it. Si tume na Dubai na wajama. Si kuna kitu na itua desert safari. Niri kata. Niulize kwa nini. Kwa sababu pale umepita. Kukija upepo. Hiyo barabara ulipita hakuna. Inapigwa upe, posa mtakuwa hamjui. Nika sema, niende nikapotele huko. How can I pay for myself to get lost? <laughs> Kuna eki kikitu kina kimbizaga watu, kina teremuka, kina panda. My son normally tells me, how can I pay? Just nizikie kuskrim. Why should I pay? Niende nime... All through because you are being scared. Pay for it. Sleepy. So I told these guys. To Kaya area. Twende kikomba ya hapa Dubai. Twende tukapige maround uko. But the truth is. I don't want to get lost. In the desert. But I have news for you. Maybe you have found yourself in a desert of a type. But the Bible is trying to tell you God wants to do a new thing for you and this new thing he wants to do is to make a way in that desert where maybe when you looked back why? Because the road you came through has already been covered with the sand. I want to do a new thing. So how do they understand this? He's trying to tell them I can make a way in the wilderness, yes? And I will force its passage through the greatest difficulties. And he that made dry land in the waters, then he can also make it now. Where is he taking them? He is taking them when he was taking them out of Egypt. So when I was preparing this, and I know some of you, we went with you to Israel. From Egypt, we were in the Turingia desert. Desert. Of course, we are lami. Because Abu and Afanya biashara, ni biashara. Kwa hivyo tulifuwa talami. All the way. Tulifuwa talami. Kuna mali pengine ni rikata kwenda. Tukua huko. Mount Sinai. Niriambia alis, wacha tulare. <laughs> Waende. Wakitere muka. Tuingie basi. To continue. Swali. Now, by the way, those that are going to Israel next month, go to Sinai. Climb that mountain. You will love it. The story they gave were very interesting and very scaring at the same time, but they went to Mount Sinai. So, <laughs> Isaiah is trying to tell them, this God that we have trusted, we are in Babylon, right? Are we in Babylon? And they all say, we are. Are we? Captives, yes, we are. But this God I'm telling you about, it's that God, when the Red Sea showed up, he made a way through it. When Jordan showed up, 
he made a way through it. Now that is the God we are talking about. He knows the way in the wilderness. What I have to do is to follow. But from where I am, he's asking me, open my eyes so that I can see. Hallelujah. Yes, and you know what? It is not only that. It says, he that made dry land in the waters can produce water in the driest land in such abundance that not only to give drink to his people, his chosen, but also the beast of the field, the dragons, the ostriches that are there. He is able to do it. May God cause you from where you are been taken captive to open your eyes and know this is the same God who did it then. And he can do it now. Do you know why, why I love God myself? Do you know why I love God? Because I discovered as I have grown, he doesn't sweat even when my figure keeps on changing. Has sweat? Mwambi jirani yako mungu has sweat. Actually, mutu waliye na shida ni wewe, kutamuka. You have a problem ku kutamuka, your figure. Hata unaweza whisper. Anatu, ama tukiomba unasema unspoken request. Figa, it, it, figa, inakusumbua, figa. So I discovered how he gave me 10 shillings to travel from Thika and go to Machakos when I was a student. 10 shillings. And I will have changed and I will have e taken maziwa every lunch hour na 10 shillings. Because he never sweat then. Even now when I'm calling for that figure. For him, he doesn't sweat. The guy who sweats is me. Sini niwambia kuna siku buwana alinibariki na gari mpia. Mwambia jira niyako gari mpia. Nikaenda kuificha kwa mtu wapa shindwe. Gari yangu ni nampa gari mpya park pale yard. Watu wakipita na unaenda kia gari je rutaishi? Ina ni gari yangu siku tatu. Mungu aliposhuka nikakubali ukibarikiwa barikika. Kwa sababu Mungu hana shida. God has no problem. You, you, you know, may God help you to work with the people that know that God does not sweat when he wants to bless you. Because if you do, your life will change forever. I met an Ethiopian man. We were traveling with him from uh, uh, U.S., then through Paris, then through Nairobi. He was going to Kigali. So when we landed in Paris, we were told we would be there for the whole day. We arrived in the morning. We are going to live there in the evening at around 8. Now, Humble as I am, I wanted to sit in the airport for those 12 hours. But this guy tells me, sir, let's make exploration in Paris. I said, oh yeah, let's do that. So we entered a bus, we landed in Paris. Paris, kuna barabara kimoja tu kikubwa, kinatoka chini, kinapanda, kikubwa kabisa. Hiyo, hata jina ni mesahau, hiyo, hiyo barabara kubwa. So this man are those men that uh, don't fear shops. Hey, sinimeva suti. Zaina yote. Kwanza hajali, tunaingia nakuta hiyo, inatoka 200,000 Kenya shilling suti. Na nimiaka hiyo. Anambia, sir, try this one. Ninava. Try these shoes. Ninava. Mm -hmm. Alafu ananiangalia hivya nasema, it's not your type. Tunaiwacha. Anaenda tunaingia ingine na ya nava. So nikajua that day what we will spend it by saying not your color. Akiva. Kwa hivyo tuliva masuti ya miyaine, miyatano, viyatu ya sijui 50, sigiste. Tukava, tukava, alafu, tuka, masai kafika kena be, let's buy some water and get back. <laughs> Walking with that person made me know Nobody is concerned about me and nobody knows how much I carry. Utasana, tamuambia sina. 
Hapana. Ni rangi. Hii haipotani na hii mwili. Hii naona shade hii unatoa na vaa ingine. Masaya kaishia pale. Blessed be the name of the Lord. So when it came to buy this land, this land tuko kwake. Hii sina hata ndururu. Tell your neighbor bishop hata hana ndururu. But I loved this place. And I knew that God is not concerned about money. He, it is only me who has a problem with money. So I went to Taylor. Taylor is the Muzungu, the general manager of this place. This farmer's choice thing. I landed there. How do you land when you want to speak to people that a billion is not a joke? You land there like you also have some. So they ask you, can you raise, how much can you raise? 1.2 billion up. And say you can, and then they ask, how? So I ask Bishop Mark, tumuambie nini? <laughs> so Bishop Mark is another one. If you walk with him, there is no mountain you cannot climb. He says, tell him we'll pay him four times. 1.2 billion. Their lawyer called me many times telling me you are going to lose 10%. So when we cleared in December, that a fast. It is not even last year. It is not the other year. Si mweka hapa mwaka mzima. The other year. Kwanza tulipumzika miezi kadhaa kwa sababu tulijiuliza ni sisi tumelipa 1.2. Eh? Do you think God cannot help us when we are raising the money for the five campuses? Now God What? Salimia jirani yako tafadhali. Mwambie acha kutokwa na jasho. Mungu hana shida. So what God wants me to know and that's why he's reminding them that this God I'm talking about. Do you have a God you can talk about who has done something in the past? And then you are telling others if he was able to do this in the past he is telling me to see it now because when I see it now, it is going to happen in the name of the Lord. Oh, blessed be the name of the Lord. So this looks back to what God did for Israel when he led them through the wilderness from Egypt to Canaan, fetched water out of a rock to give them. What God did for them formerly, he will do it again because he is still the same yesterday, today. And forever. That's the God that we trust in. Wengine hapa na kuambia, enda wengine kwa gari unawataka kule marshals. Ama uko Toyota Kenya. Uende nayo. Kwanza wana kupatia uende shakidogo. Wengine kwa expressway. Uende mbaka mlolongo. Urudi na wipak. Ara uambie, let me think it over. Don't buy quickly. Think about it. Na imani yako itapanda. Imani yako itapanda. You know some of you are looking at me like bishop. Is it true? When I, one time I went, landed in the US in 1988. And because I had some time, I entered into a yard what I was magari. And I did what I'm telling you. Kaingia moja. Fiat nilikuwa ninapenda tu Fiat sana. Kaingia ka Fiat. Kakagrumisha, nikakagrumisha, nikakagrumisha, nikasikia kanaenda vizuri, nikakagrumisha, nikatoka, nikaenda kilometa kadha. Arafu unakarudisha, unakapaka. Arafu kanaweza, can we enter into the deal? Not now, sir. I'm coming back. Sijarudi. So what God is trying to tell the children of Israel, you are in Babylon, but let me tell you, Although I'm in Babylon, I serve a God that is able to do exceedingly above what I can even imagine or even ask. That is what you and I need to know. That where I am, Mungu, Mungu bado, bado, biashara yake, bado yuko. Hata iwe ni masomo, Mungu bado yuko, ni kazi, Mungu bado yupo. And if he has not done anything for you then, Quote others that God has done. Tell God, I know you did it for Moses. You can do it for me. You did it for David. You can do it for me. And if you need a Kenyan example, you did it for Bishop Kimani. You can do it for me. That's the kind of faith that he's telling them. 
You're in Babylon? Yes. You're in captivity? Yes. I want to do a new thing. Now I want you to see it. You, he wants you to see it so that you can start talking about it. See it. Talk about it. Tell others about it. They might not even have a clue what God is doing for you, but just have a clue. Have an idea about it. Looking forward not only to all the instances of God's care of the Jewish church in the latter ages of it, but their return from Babylon and coming to where God had promised. It's like us getting back to what Christ has promised us because Christ has promised us life and life in its abundance. So Abraham, I mean, I, uh, Isaiah is tracing up all the promised blessings to their great original, the purposes and design that God has, which is verse number 21, if you can put it there for us. Verse number 21, which we can read all of us together. Verse number 21 says, These people are formed for myself. They shall declare my praise. Why am I there? So that I can honor God. Blessed be the name of the Lord. So whatever God has done, informing you, informing me, he wants so that we can praise God. And that's where he tells the children of Israel, the animals honor me. Why can't you honor me? Have you ever woken up in the morning and you feel so discouraged and you feel like you cannot wake up you feel like you cannot move. You feel like that day, and then from your window, by the grace of God, birds are singing. They are all rejoicing. They are making fun. They are also even enjoying you. If you can hear their language, they are wondering. Sambiri, bado merala, nanusu, bado nalala, nakule wana cheka cheka waksema wanambia na unajua leo hatutaenda zima leo tunanguka tugedurai. Tunapata lunch. Alafu tunatoka gedhurai. Tunapanda, tunapanda west. Tunenda west. Kaa west, nutakula dinner. Alafu turu duma home. Ni haji hapo. Wana cheka. High five. Pa, high five. Pa, high five. Pa. They are giving God who? The glory. And I normally say this. You and I are more precious than the birds of the air. Hey. Kwanza kuna mtu mungine alisoma. Siju kama ni hapa hapa kwenu ni mabreakthrough sana. Kuna mtu alisoma, akasoma maali. Na, na imeandikwa, na nikuwa nikisoma. Lakini sikuwa nimesoma hivyo. Kumbe hata nyasi. Anawaklothigi. Asubui. Hai. Ni hapa nilisikia madu wapi. Nika shika hiyo ni kazama. If God can clothe the grass. Which is today but tomorrow with us away. The question is. Can't I? Precious as I am. That's what he's telling the Babylonian, the people in Babylon. You are in captivity, but you have a God. Tell your neighbor, you have a God. So this is what God says. God says, there is something that I want you to know. I'm making a way. Oh, I'm making a way. It doesn't matter how your desert looks like. He's making a way. The desert is a lonely place where one can easily lose direction because of heat, fatigue, and disorientation. So you can find yourself in a place where there is, you are losing direction, there is a lot of fatigue, you are being disoriented, you don't know where you are going. But even there, the Bible is trying to tell us, as he has some guides there, at Dubai, although nirikata kwenda, watu wameniambia, inakuwaga hivyo, lakini there are some guys. Tell your neighbor there are some guys. They don't look for roads. Wako na map. Na ikitu igine inaitagwa hiyo kambas. Hapo teagi. Anangalia tu anajua. <laughs> Google one time alinidanganya. <laughs> Google saingine. Anaweza kukudanganya. Kwa sabu kizungu yangu na yake hirienda ikachanganya. Nataka kuenda ya ya center. Na ananipereka kawangwari. <laughs> na haka nipereka karibu nifike kawangwari. Na ambia Alice. Jama uyo ni hatu tahire. You know where we are going. Zima hiyo kitu. We are going to ya ya center and I know where it is. Tuwache kutafuta njia ndogo ndogo. Yesterday, the day before yesterday, was coming from House of Bread. Nikaambia Gugu, 
nipeleke Kangemi. We are going to Kangemi. Gugu akanambia njia nzuri ni kupitia, kupitia uhuru highway. Lakini kulikuwa na mahali pawili kulikuwa na damu. Unajua ukiona damu unajua kumechinjwa kwa hiyo barabara kuna shida. So ni, ilikuwa na damu mbili kwa barabara. Na kaso, dugu nilikuwa ni baba wakaniambia ah ninajua Nairobi tupande. Tuache State House mkono hii. Si tumeikuta hapo tupande. Tuache St George's mkono hii tupande tu tupite bypass ingine ilijengwa hapo. Do you know tulipofika kwa hiyo bypass tukakuta jamu kubwa. We spend a whole hour to navigate the bypass to get back to Waiyaki way. In my heart I was saying, wewe. <laughs> Umenipoteza. And I know there could be some of you that are saying, huyu ndiye amenipoteza. But in that situation, the word of God is trying to tell us that even in that situation, you are disoriented, you have fatigue, you have heat on you, you have lost direction. He wants to make a way for you. There is a way for you. There is spiritual desert, a place of loneliness, misdirection and confusion. Some people spend their lives wandering in the spiritual desert of despair, disillusionment, disappointment. Spiritual desert can be encountered in our spiritual exile from God. When you are away from him, you can face those same spiritual deserts. But in those situations, I hear God is saying, can't you see? Why don't you open your eyes and see what God has for you? Perhaps it is a desert of personal affliction and addiction. But the Lord is trying to say, even wherever you find yourself, open your eyes. There is a place that God can bring direction for you. Blessed be the name of the Lord. God is also doing a new thing and making streams in the wasteland. A wasteland is without fresh water. It is the place where dreams waste away. Hope and faith in God waste away. Somebody says this of a wasteland. It is where there is an end. Where there is soundless wailing. The silent withering of autumn flowers. Where there is an end of drifting leakage. But here... He says, if I pray to the Lord, I will hear him say, this is the way, walk in it. So that is what I need to open myself to, because God is speaking. We live in these days of spiritual wastelands where people have become so tinted and corrupt by their, the horrors and illusions of age. They have lost all hope. All hope is lost. Do you know living in Kenya at this time is very good? Tell your neighbor is very good. Tell them, Kanusha. Carry that word with you. It's for free. So your business, Nikuka. Maisha ni mangumu. Kanusha sentence he. Maisha ni mangumu. Siwezi kununua unga. Kanusha. Fea imepanda. Kanusha. I'm saying this. You need to live now a life of kuka. Because you. See, vile imesema hapa. God knows where you are. All what you need is to open your eyes. Has Mungu wana shida ya mkate? Na unga? Na petroli? Ndiyo ulifikia? Hana. Actually, kanusha. Sasa kazi yako ni kukanusha. So if you have someone who is walking with you and they are pa 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 kazi yako ni kukanusha. Hii serikali baya, hii serikali nzuri. Huyu mbaya, huyu mzuri. Tutashinda. Tu, akisema utashinda wanasema amen. Lakini akisema tutashinda hapana. Kanusha. Ukiingia katika kukanusha hata kwako kwa nyumba wale ambao mlikuja ibada hii ya vijana na mumeoa jifundishe kukanusha sentensi eh hey. Ati nitakuacha huniwachi <laughs> Nitaenda huendi Hatuna pesa tunazo. Kanusha. 
Huyu mtoto will not appear anywhere in the in the map. Unasema huyu mtoto will be great in the land. Yaani wewe kazi yako ni kukanusha. Hatutapata plot unasema tutapata na tujenge. Kanusha sentence. Because that's what the Bible is trying to tell us. Anaambia hawa jamaa fungua macho. Jacob fungua macho. Eh? Fungua macho. You just open your eyes. Let God help you with wisdom and revelation. May God help you with wisdom and revelation. We need to turn to him. God says, I'll make streams in the desert. The dry places shall become wet places. The old places shall become new places. The crooked places shall become straight places. That which has been en uh, created and evaporated of the stream of life shall be replenished and refurbished with the fresh rushing water of God's power, God's grace, in the mighty name of Jesus. And this is why we have our Savior. Yes, the day before yesterday I was saying, you know, sisi tutashinda. Ninapo sema sisi. Nasema mimi, na wewe, na kristu. Sisi ni washindi. So we are going to overcome because of what? Of what Christ has done for us. God says, the wild animals honor me, even the jackals and the owls, because I provide water in the desert and streams in the wasteland. If the wild animals can perceive and acknowledge what God is doing, why can't we, human beings, see what God is doing? If the animals who don't have the intelligence that humankind have can see what God is doing and can rejoice in what God is doing, you, you know, when you think about that, you know, unaona ndege. Ndege wanajuaga wakati kutakuja kunyesha. Sisi ole wetu tunanyeshe wanamvua ndiyo tunajua kulikuwa kunyeshe. May God help us. Hiyo ndiyo nimekuja kukuambia. Mungu wa tusaidia kufungua macho. Tu, tuache tu kulima saile mvua isha anyesha. Na ndege walijua kitambo kutanyesha. Wakaanza kumaigireti kutoka ulaya kwa sababu barafu inaanguka. Wakakuja Afrika. Tena wame, sasa wameanza kutoka Afrika. E, 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 hivyo hivyo wanaka wanatuchekelea tu kwanza wanakujaga wamepanga laini wakielekea Europe na wakitoka Europe wanapanga laini wakikuja na kule chini wanatuangalia tu simujipange <laughs> and, I, and, I, and I pray that God is going to help me as i told you me i was speaking with myself what god is telling me he has done it in the past i need to open my eyes now he knows the situation, but he's telling me in that situation, dry as it is, wasted as it is, there's going to be streams. There are going to be way. Kimeumana, kuna njia. Umekaukiwa, kuna njia. Na nilisema tena, wacha kuwa mtu wa dini. Ha? Huh? Watu wa dini wanakosaga, wanakosaga baraka sana. Kwa sababu wanagojaga wimbo. Wengine wanagojaga, wengine wafunge macho. Wengine wanasikia haya kutaja figures. Kwa sababu, I, I, I will not, I will not, I will not. Kwa sababu watu watasema ni maringo. Do you know even when you don't have, actually yesterday, I was telling somebody, hata kuwa maskini, kuna maringo yake. Dini ni mbaya. Mwambie jirani yako dini ni mbaya. Mwambie unasikia uko kwa desert na bishop amehubiri na ungekuwa pale mbele wewe una umeanza kumwambia bwana fungua macho yangu. Yaani wewe ungekuwa umeshamaliza ibada yako. Hii ya, ya watu ya dini waache na dini zao. I pray that one day the church at Shilo and the church in Zimama will be church where people will receive what they are receiving, react to what they are receiving, even when the service is going on. Because God is not going to be shaken at you. Umekimbia pale mbele. Utakimbia, we ulie, wekerewe mikono na waze, wakanisa wale leaders, wakokaribu pale, wale ministry team members. Na mimi nitaendelea kubiri. I will not stop. Because why should I stop and God is dealing with you? Dini. Mwambia jirani yako. Hii dini. 
So I'm saying, all what God is asking you, where you are, is to open your eyes. And if your eyes have a problem to open, then you come to the altar. You tell God, give me wisdom, revelation, and help me to open Haya. Kweli hii ni dini kweli. Mnataka wimbo? Siimbi. Unataka muujiza? Njoo. Upokee muujiza wako. Unataka Bwana akufungue macho? Njoo. Hebu Bwana akufungue macho. Atuimbi. Desert kwani ni mimi niko kwa desert peke yangu kwa hii church yote. As, asante dada wewe jipigie magoti hapo wewe pokea huyu mujiza wako. Siku moja utawatolea ushuhuda uambie nilitoka tu bishop alisema hivi hivi nikatoka pale na nikatoka kwa desert yangu. Bwana akanifungulia mlango. Nikaweza kuona baraka alizo nazo. Kwa sababu Mungu ana baraka nyingi. Kwako, kwangu ana baraka nyingi. Then I will ask the ministry team that are here, please join me, lay hands on them. Just whisper a prayer. May the Lord meet you at the point of your very need. May the Lord open your eyes. May your eyes of understanding be opened up. May the Lord give you revelation so that you can know where you are and what God wants to do. Because God has a blessing for you. It doesn't matter how that wilderness, that desert looks like. God can make a way out of it. God can make a way out of it in the name of the Lord. Blessed be your holy name, my Savior. My Father, you can make a way. Here we are. Make a way for us. My Lord knows the way through the will done us. And what we have to do is to follow our Lord knows the way through the wilderness and what we have to do is to follow strength for today is us all the way and what we will need for tomorrow my Lord knows the way through the wilderness. What we have to do is to fall. We can personalize it and make it my, my God. My God knows the way through the wilderness. And what I have to do is to follow. My Lord knows the way through the wilderness. And what I have to do is to follow. Strength for today is mine all the way. And what I have to need for tomorrow. My Lord knows the way. Through the wilderness And what I have to do Is to follow My Lord knows the way Through the wilderness And what I have to do Is to follow My Lord knows the way Through the wilderness and what I have to do is to follow. Strength for today is mine all the way. And what I have to need for tomorrow. My Lord knows the way through the wilderness. And what I have to do is to fall. May the Lord open your eyes of understanding. May your eyes be enlightened.
to know the power of God that works within us and to know that that power works within us. It is within us. May the Lord open that door that appeared like a desert. May there be a pathway. May that stream that you are calling God to give you a fresh water, may the Lord cause you to have freshness, fresh water, in the mighty name of Jesus. May the Lord remember you. May the Lord change your course. May the Lord change your direction. May the Lord come through for you. Some of you are kneeling here because for a couple of months, a couple of years, you are looking for a job, an opportunity. May the Lord push you there. May the Lord open that door for you. Maybe you are here and you are believing God for something else. Maybe business. Maybe an, open, an opening outside this nation or even to fly out. I pray that that will come to pass. Because the Lord is telling us, it doesn't matter where I am. He can open streams. He can open highways wherever I find myself. Be blessed, for this is our prayer. In Jesus' name, amen. While my brothers are getting back to seat, may the Lord remember you, carry your testimony with you. Kanusha, kanusha. Anza kukanusha sahi. Sauti yo inakuambia iweze kani hikanushe. Kareka jina la yesu. Maybe you're here, and when we were worshiping, Somebody said, if you don't know the Lord, you can know him today. What a day to know him. That desert of not knowing the Lord. That waste of not knowing the Lord. So if you're here and you'd like to give your life to Jesus, would you lift up your hand and I want to pray for you today. You're saying, I want to receive Jesus. I can see your hand, my brother. Is there somebody else who wants to join my brother? Just lift it up. Don't you worry. Just lift it up. You want to give your life to Jesus? Just lift it up. I want to ask my brother if you can come. Just come. Anybody who wants to join my brother? You want to give your life to Jesus? You want to give your life to Jesus? You want to give your life to Jesus? Just come. Are you there? Encourage them. Maybe you are there and you knew the Lord like the children of Israel. But you have been pushed by circumstance and situation. You have entered into a desert of not knowing him. It's like you have forgotten the grace of God. And you are saying, I want God to revive me. I want to rededicate my life to the Lord. You have some stories. Oh, when I was in high school. Oh, when I was this. You want God to revive those. I want to pray for you. So if you are there, you are saying, Oh, Bishop. I want to recommit my life to Jesus. Would you want to join us here? Just come. Take a step and come. You're saying, I want to recommit my life to Jesus today. Just come. The Lord bless you, young man. You're there, you want to recommit your life to Jesus. Just come. Just come. Just come. 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 Somebody is ready. Welcome. The Lord bless you. You want to recommit yourself and your ways to the Lord. You want to recommit yourself and your ways to the Lord. Just come. There is another young man who has come. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. You are saying, no, I want to recommit myself to the Lord. I knew the Lord. I know how he works. I know his ways. I want to recommit myself to the Lord. Shall we? Stretch our hands towards them as our pastors here are praying with them. Our Heavenly Father, when we started the service, the scripture was read to us that all what we need is to repent, to turn around from our ways. And dear Father, when we do so, there is a promise. Then we can enter into times and seasons and moments of refreshment in the presence of the Lord. That's the prayer we pray for these uh, brothers, that dear Lord, times of refreshing are coming upon them. The young man who has given his life to the Lord, the young men that are recommitting themselves to the Lord again, 
I pray that times and season of refreshing, they are starting right now. For this is our prayer in Jesus' name. Let's give the Lord praise, shall we?